Hi, AD. Welcome oh, to my I'm room. Architecture Digest. My sister is an architecture graduate and she's judging me right now. Okay, come on in. It's taken this long to finish my room tour, but I do have quite a lot of things to show you guys. Just a few things before we start the room tour. My room is divided into two parts, white walls and wooden walls, as you can see from the back. I wanted the brown walls to be more quiet and then I wanted the white walls to be more loud. And I really love these walls. I love how they give my room kind of like this cozy cabin feel. And that's what I kind of like went off and worked with. Also, if you're new here, hi, my name is Kiara. I make videos on my room currently, art, studying, college, all that stuff. So if you want to see more, click that subscribe button. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below and I'll make sure to reply. So yeah, let's get to the room tour. So when you enter the room, the first thing that you will come across is this. Well, actually no. The first thing you'll come across is like the whole room, but if you look to your left, you'll see this whole wall, which is basically a wall of like things I love and things that I collected over the years that I would normally put on journals or like scrapbooks and stuff, but decided to put on my wall. And I know right now it's kind of like a lot of personal touches because I've never had a room before, which is why I wanted my first room to be something that was very personal to me. So when you come here, You'll be greeted by Stitch. There's a step ladder, and I also put a projector here. The step ladder is really useful if I need to hang something up here, you know? If I need to go up and put some stuff on my bookshelf. I have this like yellow frame that's around my like, light switches, but my lights don't work. <laughs> this yellow frame is the one from Friends, the one that Monica has. And I also gave one to my best friend. We have like, the same one. I would put it on my door, but then I thought it would look cuter here. Maybe like paint around this purple. I don't know. I also have this painting, which is Van Gogh's bedroom, and I got it framed. What I really love about this side is that it has this little thing that I built for my Kia. It's kind of like a rack and hanger, so I can put like my bags over here. Over here, I have just like chocolate frogs, a mahjong piece with my last name on it, little tapes that I got from New York. And then under that, we also have some comic books. I, re I remember bringing my friends here before, and I was like, if you want to read, if you're bored, you can just look at the comic book, you know? And then when we go to the other side, which is my main gallery wall, you might have seen it from my last video where I was putting it up. It's kind of like an accumulation of everything I love. Paintings, postcards that I've collected over the past few years. So it's just very much like a whole spread of the things that I'm really passionate about. And I think notably, we have the mirror here. This is where I like look at myself. And then I also have this painting from 2017. It's of the Beatles. I'm a huge Beatles fan. I also have a vinyl over here from Yoko Ono and John Lennon and I also have a band on the run one which is like Paul McCartney's group after the Beatles. And then we also have this this really really cute embroidered piece that was made for me by one of my subscribers. And I also have a picture with my best friend when I dressed up as James Potter for book character today but people kept thinking I was Harry Potter. It's kind of like the same thing. And also this one, this is a chocolate frog that a subscriber also made and sent to me. I absolutely love it when you guys like send me things that I can like collect and like put on my walls. So it just makes me feel very warm in the heart. Another thing that I have here is my print from Beria. She is a famous artist on Tumblr and I promised myself one day that I would buy myself a print if I got my own place. I did and I'm so happy. And then I also have paintings that I made. This one, this one, those two. And there's still more space down here that I can put more memories that I can have in the future. And yeah, I'm planning to fill up the whole wall. But this is what it looks like right now. Okay, the lighting is kind of wonky because I am against the light. But when you enter the room, this is the first thing you'll see. It's a huge window with a Bay Area couch and my bookshelves! <laughs> These two bookshelves are the ones that I specifically requested for this room. Ever since I was younger, I really wanted a room with bookshelves and I never had my own bookshelf. I literally like store my books under my bed because we didn't have storage for that. In the middle, we have this beautiful Bay Area couch where I do my readings. Sometimes I journal. It's very nice because I love getting sunlight this wonderful like beautiful like shape look at that 
So yeah, these are my two bookshelves. They have their own theme for like shelves. So I'll just quickly show you guys what they are. Okay, so for my bookshelves, I have five tiers. On the first tier, it's kind of like just cute memorabilia. I have this stereo that I got from New York for like $5. When you go down here, we have it's my like yellow, purple, orange. We just have like a colorful shelf. This is where I keep my art materials most of the time. Also some of my favorite comic books such as The Killing Joke. On the left of it, I have more of my classics collection. Lots of murder mysteries, which I really am into right now. I also have this book from Shakespeare & Co. Funny Love Poems and A Song of Despair by Pablo Neruda. And the Song of Despair is one of my favorite poems that I've actually Red and it's called Tonight I Can Write. And then the lower part, we have my YouTube plaque, and then we have kind of like these blue books. That's kind of like the theme that I went for, it's just blue. And then I have some of my other sketchbooks here. And then when you go down, you have more of the colorful books. I also have this cute clown pot from my best friend, she gave it to me. And I also have this frame of Balthazar in London because I had my 18th birthday there. And then we also have these like mahjong pieces that were sent to me by Hong Kong Tourism Board. And it has my name spelled out in Chinese. Then when you go to the lowest portion of this bookshelf, you'll have my comic book collection. I used to collect comics when I was 13, 14, 15. I was so addicted to it back then because I was really addicted to the Teen Titans when I was 14. During free comic book day, I would line up at like 5 a.m. just to get a free comic book and get the discounts for the comic books. We also have a stash of food and gummies and candies over here just in case like I get hungry one day and want a snack. This is my favorite part of my room because I get to sit here and read and also get my vitamin D every day. I also have these like little cute flower pillows that are so cute. I have them on each side. My stuffed toys over here are generally brown or orange. You can't see it but I'm stepping on my yoga mat right now so there's a yoga mat under here because the sunlight likes to pour in here, so like if I need to stretch in the early morning, I use the yoga mat on the floor. Okay, this is bookshelf number two. I know it looks a little crowded, that's because it is. Actually, both of them are crowded, but I have a lot of books, okay? So I don't know what to do with them. This is my Harry Potter collection. If you guys can see up here, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I have been ever since I was like nine years old. If you guys know me, I'm really, really into the Marauders, and so this Marauders map was given to me by my best friend. And then I also have the British collection of the Harry Potter books. I bought them all secondhand. I also bought all of my illustrated versions secondhand. Most of these Funko Pops are also bought secondhand. I have a thing for buying Harry Potter merch secondhand because I know I'm not giving more money to JK Rowling, you know? Going one tier down, this is kind of like my dark academia, light academia face, dark books, reds, blacks, browns. The book in the center is called The Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf, and then behind it is a art book for impressionist painting. I think these two match the vibe of my brown walls way more than any of the books on my other bookshelf. And then when you go one step further down, we have oh, my pastel books. I know, it's kind of out of place, but I don't know where else to put them and they all look kind of cute here. We have Dorian Gray, we have Lord of Rey, Love Poems by Pablo Neruda, The Bell Jar. To the right, I have my different perfumes, my different jewelry, my hair products. And then going down, it's kind of like messy over here, but I have my skincare fridge, which is what I use every night. And this one basket full of random things that I don't know what to do with. We all have that one basket of random things we don't know what to do with. I also got this Slytherin banner from my friend. The other side of the room, I have my Slytherin scarf. Moving on, we're gonna go to the brown wall. These wood panels are actually real. They were built 20 years ago, so... At first, I didn't really like them because I was like, it kind of makes the room too dark. But it gives it two different personalities, which I really love. So if I want to be like more like academia or like cozy cabin, I can look over here. But if I want to be more crackhead, I can look over there. This side table is kind of like the side table to my table because my table is really small. So I need a little bit more like ambiance going on over here. I got my candles, this cute clock that I found on Shopee. It's inspired by Salvatore Dali. Inside the this little like glass case is my Tales of Beetle the Bard that I got from Mina Lima. And it's just so beautiful, that's why I wanted to put it in a glass case. This is my table, my table's really bare because I like keeping my space kind of clean. Which is ironic looking at my whole room. <laughs> But I like keeping my working space clean, but my whole room, messy, chaotic mess. And I also have my ergonomic chair. I have this emerald green pillow from Miniso. I didn't realize how expensive frames are until I started thrifting for frames because real frames cost too much. The centerpiece was one of my paintings when I was 17 years old and I painted the Hogwarts castle while listening to the 7th audiobook and I finished it when the 7th audiobook finished. 
and I think that's one core memory for me. I don't know. I also have this mirror that I got from Shopee. It's really cute. This is one of my favorite things as well. This is a Hogwarts leather that I got for myself when I was in third grade. I remember saving up for this. I think it was like 200 pesos at the time. I bought it off of like a knockoff Harry Potter merch maker. I think it's just really cute and sweet that, I don't know, 12 year old Kiara would come up with these things and make the magic for herself, you know. And I also have these like herbology prints from the Louvre, from the Louvre, Café de Fleur. And then we also have like little notes and little pressed flowers. Flowers are also a common theme in my room. We have a lot of Harry Potter, we have a lot of flowers. See my bed. This is my bed. This is my Claude Monet print. It's from the Met. My dad hung it up. The only problem is if there's an earthquake, it will fall flat on my face. On my side table, they have three tiers. And so in the first tier, I have my five minute journal. I have my lamp, my snow globe. But this is my Hogwarts snow globe. And I got this as a gift for myself. And it's just so pretty. Like, look at that. On the second tier are my books that I'm reading, my lotion, all that stuff. And then on the third tier are my chargers, like my cables, everything else. The other table has all my sister's stuff on it. So, yeah. And then, if you can see, behind me there is a cart. That is my art cart. That is where I put all my art materials. But... I also wanted to show you guys my room in night mode, so this is what it looks like. my bathroom which I will not show you because it is a mess right now but yeah that was the whole room tour every morning when I wake up I'm like wow this is my room I just feel so lucky that everything like personally resonates with me I know it's kind of chaotic like my parents would walk and they're just like whoa but then that's just how I feel like my mind is like if you're like looking into a glimpse of my mind this is like it's it's very much this chaotic and I like how there are two different like, vibes to the room that's me. I am a human oxymoron. If you guys like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz if you want to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye